what's up traders this is v trades and today i will be doing a technical analysis breakdown for paypal holdings with the ticker symbol pypo i will first be going over what i see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart so i look at i look at paypal uh two times a week the last time i looked at paypal was last week saturday so let's take a look at what happened since then so you see that saturday's uh, price action was right about here when I analyzed it on Friday. You see that Monday and Tuesday we did continue higher. And the reason being is that the measure move target by the bulls is still in play. So there was one leg up right over here or impulse from August 18th up until August 23rd. Price pulled back. Normally you'll see um, a similar size impulse again in the future. Uh, so you see the bulls tried one more attempt to reach it failed but since this high right over here is higher than this one the mesh move target is still in place so we're seeing the second attempt by the bulls to reach this mesh move target because this was the first attempt from august 25th up until september 5th price sold off now we're seeing the second attempt so the second attempt looks to be getting rejected by this previous resistance at the 63.32. so i'll go ahead and mark that right now so you can see there's some resistance right here from this swing high on August 14th. Price started getting rejected from it again back here in early September. And now we're getting rejected from it again uh, one more time today. So does that mean the measurement target is not going to be reached? Um, there's a possibility because this shows signs of weakness by the bulls. They tried two attempts to reach the target and they're not able to surpass this 6348 level. So there's a good chance price may continue to trend down lower. Um, so that's how I'm looking at uh, PayPal. Ba basically, we're stuck between um, this level right over here, the $60 level, $60.72, and the $63.48 level. Uh, we do have this possible trend line in play, uh, so we'll see if the bulls can stay above it. Uh, but again, it's not looking that strong for them either because they're getting rejected from the $63.40 level um, the second time. Uh, this was the first time back here in early September, and now this is the second time. So, again, the measurable target by the bulls is still in play. That's where they're trying to reach. So, basically, when I look at a chart, I'm looking for who is stronger. Is it the bulls or the bears? Because they're both trying to do something. The bulls are trying to reach this measurable target higher at the $65 level, and the bears are probably just trying to bring down price back down to the $59 level. So... Who does it look like is stronger? Well, right now, it looks like they're kind of balanced. So that's what I'm saying, that we could be seeing price go sideways. And the EMA is reflecting that sideways price action. So you can see that price is kind of staying within this $60 level and the $63 level. So the price could be maybe just going in a range pattern um, in the next couple of days, maybe in a couple of weeks, between this uh, $60.74 and the 63.37, so the 63.40. So it could be a range pattern uh, in play. We'll have to wait and see. But that's what I'm looking at um, uh, PayPal. We could see another leg down too. So basically, in a higher time frame, this would be one large leg up. And we just saw a large drop down. So right over here, we could be seeing another large drop down for a potential another leg up. So just because, you know, the bears, the bulls do fail to reach the target right now, we do see a sell-off, there's a good chance it might stall out right around the uh, uh, low 60s, high 50s. And that would be even better because then we could probably see another large leg up by the bulls, something like that. So let's see if this plays out. Either we're going to reach the target uh, in the next coming days at the 6505, or we're going to see a retracement by the bulls. And maybe then we'll see uh, signs of weakness by the bears for the bulls to be able to continue to push up the price. So that's what I'm looking at uh, PayPal. Basically, it's on the second attempt of reaching the near-term measure move at the 65. If it fails here, then it could get rejected back down to the low 60s, high 50s. And then from there, uh, there's a possibility where we see a bounce up if price comes back above the 6076 or if that level even holds there's a good chance we could see another large attempt higher by the bulls. So that's how I'm looking at PayPal. Maybe some type of um, pattern like this uh, is very possible because we just got uh, rejected from the mid $63 level. It doesn't look like it wants to go up as of right now. Maybe it wants to recede and then go up higher. I'm not discounting the fact that it can still continue higher. I'm just saying it's looking kind of unlikely and it may continue to drop down lower for another attempt up higher, something like this. So that's all I have for PayPal on the daily chart. Uh, either way, you know, we're still above this strong support level at the $59 level. And, you know, until until then, you know, price is probably not going to make a new low 
of this entire downtrend that uh, PayPal has been inside of. So that's a good sign for the long term. So we'll see if it stands. So here's the weekly chart. You can see that price made two made a leg up. It's pulling back, and we can see a second leg up later on. We're a little bit overextended from the EMA on the weekly chart, so we could pull back to that. That's it right around the measure move target that I had. Uh, the second measure move target I had, uh, if price can get up there, right around the $63 level, or excuse me, the um, $66.80 level. So we'll see if the bulls can get up there. As right now, you know, this is still a very bearish looking chart overall. Um, you can see the price is below the trend line. We're still below the weekly EMA. We're still below the $68 level. So there's a lot of um, areas of resistance that the bulls would need to surpass if it wants to turn into a full blown uptrend. Right now, this is probably just a pullback for even more downside until, you know, it shows something else. That's what I see on the chart. Uh, we can always still reach this measure target at the 5208. Uh, because the bears have not reached that in the higher time frame so short term time frame uh you know the price was bullish now it's kind of getting balanced we're not really seeing any strength from the buyers or the sellers as right now um but in the long term meaning the entire chart since august of last year it's definitely um a bear market it's still a bears market and it's showing signs of weakness uh, by the bulls until we see a uh, much more higher prices so let me take a look at the weekly chart or excuse me, the daily chart one last time. And like I said before, if price does want to continue higher, it's probably attempting to reach that $65 level, $65.02. If it does fail here, there's a good chance it can come back down to the low 60s, high 50s, and maybe then we'll probably see another large leg up. So this is just a possibility that can occur. Uh, so that's how I'm looking at PayPal on the daily and weekly charts. And I'll give you guys an update this week, Saturday. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time.